a typical day here, I mean, when things were relatively quiet, was not so bad. We'll periodically have to come over from OKU um, to see patients. Again, important that we're vaccinated, so it really does make that transition a lot easier because we understand that our risk, of course, of becoming infected, being vaccinated is way less than what it was last year prior to that. With this current surge, it really has been quite difficult. Um, and I'm not full-time staff here, so the staff here certainly are better able to um, enunciate what the day here is like. So I would come when patients are referred because they're nephrological issues. And we are seeing a lot of that kidney injury because of COVID or kidney injury in patients with chronic disease, but because of COVID it has worsened. So the number of patients here is significant. And that's what we want solutions to understand, that it's really not an issue of just COVID and I'll be okay, that there's a lot that could happen, that it could be injury to multiple organs. We are seeing, and we saw this with the previous surgeon, we've seen this throughout the time that we've been handling COVID, the psychological impact on patients. This is a very isolating disease and that cannot be forgotten. Again, when we think, I'm just going to get an infection and I will be okay, it is far from as being as simple as that. Patients are not able to help their families if they're very ill. Sometimes it seems, it seems simple and in the outside world it may be trivial, but the reality being here, your phone may not be charged. Um, you may not be able to get your family. Your family definitely cannot come in here for obvious reasons. We're trying to prevent infections to see you. So the usual visiting hours at hospitals does not obtain here. Relatives cannot come in to bring in basic supplies for patients and that is tough on patients. And they tell you that every single day that you go in. It's almost said as much as, Doc, I feel this, or I'm having shortness of breath, or the usual symptoms that we would expect because of COVID-19. So we do want some patients to understand that tidbit, that the psychological impact is very important, and we're seeing a lot of issues based on that. And we concede um, that as a medical community, we have to do a lot more um, about that, not just for the patients, but for ourselves because there are physicians here who've been dealing with this. We all have been to a certain extent, but those who stationed here who've been dealing with this for the past 19 months. It has taken a toll and it continues to take a toll. So we'd like to urge St. Lucians to help us to help you. The reality is if we each don't do our part, it is going to continue. If we don't get vaccinated, it's going to continue. If we don't stay home, adhere to the protocols, it's going to continue. And we're human at the end of the day that if we get tired, which we are, we're resilient, but we're human. And that's a reality that we have to face, that we're not going to be healthy enough to help you.